A bond has a modified duration of 5.5 and a convexity of 3.85. If the interest rate increases by 1%, the percentage change in the value of the bond will be closest to. Now the percentage change in the value of the bond change in the value of the bond can be attributed to two factors. One is the duration effect which is given by minus of duration value into the change in the interest rate that is delta y into 100 and the convexity factor which is equal to the convexity value into the change in the interest rate whole square into 100. If we try to look at the relationship of price of a bond with its yield to maturity, then it will look something like this. So we can see that it follows a shape which which shows which or which looks like a smile. So hence this part is known as convexity. So the convexity effect is captured through this relationship. So in this case, my delta y is equal to 0 0.01. So putting that in the equation, my percentage change in the value of the bond will be equal to minus 5.5 into 0 0.01 plus 38.5 into 0 0.01 whole square and this whole is multiplied by 100 so which is equal to minus 5.115 percent so here the minus size signifies that as the interest rate increases the price of the bond decreases which can be which can be seen in this graph that the price decreases as the interest rate or the yield to maturity increases. So there is an inverse relationship between the price of the bond and its yield to maturity. So the correct answer will be option A that the percentage change in the value of the bond will be closest to 5.115% and it will be a decrease in the price of the bond.